lecture in the new series of Atopia called Good Muslim, Bad Muslim. We are very honored having uh, Mr. Sardar with us. Ziyadi Sardar is uh, one of the most prominent intellectuals. He's a professor uh, at uh, London City University. He's a writer, he's a columnist, broadcaster. Um, the Muslim world is probably the most diverse and the most complex entity that you can possibly imagine. If you consider where the Muslims are, you, you know, you, you start from, you can start from Morocco and go all the way, taking in Sudan, Algeria, Egypt, and all the Arab world, Iran, Pakistan, Bangladesh, all the way to Indonesia. You can imagine the diversity of ethnicities and different kinds of Muslims that, 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 that actually exist. Not just different kinds of Muslims, but different kinds of Islam. It's not a label that is objectively applied. If you take somebody like Saddam Hussein, uh, who was basically a good Muslim when he was fighting the Iranians, uh, and during that eight years, of course, America supported him uh, uh, massively, and then uh, they gave him permission to attack Kuwait, uh, which he did, and from then onwards, he became a bad, uh, a bad Muslim, to such, such an extent that, of course, uh, uh, he, uh, Iraq had to be invaded on, <coughs> on the pretext that he was uh, making a, um, a, a, a nuclear weapon. Now, there's absolutely no doubt that Saddam Hussein was an absolutely brutal, nasty dictator. However, there are lots of other brutal, nasty dictators in the Muslim world who are not regarded as, as bad Muslims. Uh, who are regarded as good Muslims. So you have you take Saudi Arabia, for example, uh, where you have a, a despotic monarchy that has existed for uh, you know several decades, where you have draconian laws, uh, uh, and and Saudi Arabia is always seen as a good Muslim, even after 9/11, when it was discovered that most of the terrorists were in fact Saudis. He still continues to be a great friend of America and is seen as a as a good Muslim. One of the things, of course, about, about Saudi Arabia is that in Saudi Arabia, there's a thing called Sharia law. Right? But Sharia law in Saudi Arabia is good, but the same Sharia law with similar kind of uh, eight, nine century dudes, with, with, with same sort of way it treats women, in the same way it looks at others, etc., exactly the same in, in Sudan, then becomes a bad Sharia law. And it's that the division of the world into good and bad is, is not just simply a black and white division, but it's a division that is a function of political experience. That in fact, when foreign policy changes, uh, the definition of who is a good Muslim, who is a bad, who is a bad Muslim changes, uh, changes with it. So the idea of innocence uh, has to be interrogated. In America, America and Americans have to cease to believe that they are intrinsically good. This is a, this is a, this is a kind of a natural thing that most Americans, uh, whether they are decision makers or not, assume that, uh, that they and America is intrinsically good. Uh, now, there are various ways of, 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 of being good. I, you know, I can be good by giving some charity or helping some old lady across the road. Uh, uh, that's one thing. But the, the idea of goodness I'm talking about is an idea of goodness that is attached to the idea of innocence. It's a goodness like, like, the, like an innocent child, and it's innate goodness. And if it assumes that we, if, if the assumption is we are intrinsically and always good and innocent, then the question arises, those who are trying to do something to us must be intrinsically uh, and, and deeply bad. Uh, but that's a very powerful motive in, 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 in American consciousness. Uh, uh, and in fact, that is what uh, stops, uh, in a sense, uh, America taking the great transformation and really becoming a trans transformative force in the world, a, for, a genuine force for the good, in a sense. That America has to see itself in a, in a, as a human society rather than as an angelic uh, society that can only do good, that is always innocent, in, 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 in a sense. That uses violence to, uh, because it is forced, the violence is forced on it, 
and it, and it becomes a redeeming thing. The classic film is Shame, where you have this, you know, uh, the character, the mythical character, come come out, and and then you know, of course, he, he, he hates violence, but but violence is thrust on him, and and, and of course he uh, then out of goodness and, and innocence, you know, slaughters everybody, and then walks up in the in the in the, in the, in the sunset. I mean, that psychology, I think, is very very deep in in, 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 in America. Second thing, I think.